Imagine a country where over half a million workers are on strike, a place where the economy loses at least 1.7 billion pounds due to industrial action. This is not a dystopian novel plot, but the actual situation in the UK today. Let's delve into this startling reality. The UK is caught in the throes of widespread industrial action, with sectors like healthcare, transport, and education bearing the brunt. Workers are laying down their tools, their stethoscopes, their lesson plans, and stepping out of their offices, buses, and classrooms, voicing their discontent on the streets instead. And what's the root of this discontent? It's an issue as old as time itself, pay. Wage growth has been sluggish, especially for those in the public sector. Private sector pay has been growing at a relatively faster pace, creating a chasm that only seems to widen with each passing day. Compounding this issue, inflation rates have skyrocketed, reaching around 10%. This has led to a cost of living crisis, with the value of wages steadily eroding. The average worker is left grappling with the reality of their pay, not stretching as far as it used to. Unions are arguing that their workers' pay has been eroded over the past decade, a situation further exacerbated by the current high inflation. They are demanding pay rises that match or exceed inflation and improvements in working conditions. The government, on the other hand, argues that inflation matching pay rises would fuel further price increases and cause interest rates and mortgage payments to rise. It's a classic catch-22 situation with no immediate resolution in sight. The period between June and November witnessed the most days lost to industrial action in over 30 years. This is more than just a statistic, it's a crisis. A crisis that's affecting the economy, the workers, and the very fabric of society. This is the shocking reality of work absences in the UK today. Work absences are not just about striking workers, it's also about the stress, the burnout, and the dissatisfaction that many workers experience. Let's delve into this issue to better understand the causes and consequences. High work absences in the UK can be attributed to a myriad of factors. Stress is a major cause and it's not hard to see why. The pressure of meeting targets, the long hours, and the constant struggle to maintain a work-life balance can all contribute to mounting stress levels. This stress, when left unchecked, can lead to burnout, causing workers to take time off to recuperate. Now consider the impact of this on the worker's mental and physical health. Chronic stress can result in a host of health issues from anxiety and depression to heart disease and insomnia. It's a vicious cycle where stress leads to illness, which in turn leads to absences, further exacerbating the stress levels. But the implications of high work absences go beyond individual health. They also have a significant effect on the economy and individual businesses. When workers are absent, productivity decreases. This can lead to delayed projects, missed deadlines, and overall reduced output. For the economy, this translates to lower economic growth and potentially a higher unemployment rate. The industrial action that we see in the UK with half a million Britons going on strike is a clear manifestation of this dissatisfaction and stress. Workers are demanding pay rises that match or exceed inflation and improvements in working conditions. These strikes, while causing disruption, are a cry for change highlighting the need for better pay, better conditions, and ultimately, a better work-life balance. So, why should we care about work absences? Because they are a symptom of deeper issues in our workplaces and society. They signal a need for change, a need to create healthier, happier, and more productive workplaces. And they remind us of the importance of addressing the root causes of these absences, from stress and burnout to dissatisfaction and low pay. The question now is, what can we do about it? When we're facing a crisis of high work absences, it's vital to consider various solutions. The first and perhaps most obvious solution is to reassess pay scales, especially for public sector workers. It's no secret that wage growth has been slow, particularly in the public sector, and the cost of living has outpaced most pay offers. To close the gap, pay raises that match or exceed inflation could be a step in the right direction. But fair pay is only one part of the equation. Improved working conditions are also essential. This could mean anything from better physical workspaces to more flexible schedules, to stronger protections against workplace harassment and discrimination. When workers feel safe, respected, and valued in their roles, they're more likely to show up and perform at their best. And let's not forget the importance of mental health support in the workplace. High levels of stress have been identified as a major cause of work absences. Providing employees with access to counseling services, promoting a healthy work-life balance, and fostering a supportive and understanding work environment can help to reduce stress levels and in turn, work absences. Of course, these are just potential paths forward. Each organization, each industry will need to find the solutions that work best for them. 
But one thing is clear, inaction is not an option. Tackling work absences is not a simple task, but it's a necessary one for the health of our economy and our society. Now let's turn the spotlight on you. Have you ever experienced a significant work absence? Or perhaps you've seen it affect someone close to you? Do you have any innovative solutions or ideas that could help tackle this issue? We're eager to hear your thoughts, your stories, and your suggestions. Knowledge is power, and by sharing, we can all learn and grow. If this video resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment below. We want to hear from you. Together, we can shed light on the issue of work absences and find ways to improve our workplaces.